بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Hello dear students We started our uh, expansion which is like a revision of uh, what we studied throughout the, uh, the semester So we're just going to go back and see what we started No, we did start the expansion so we're going to take the second part Of course the expansion is the content or it has main revision for what we took in our four units now we're going to complete what we have here. We have, class, have uh, unit one, which is two is better than one. Unit two, influential people. We have unit three, what will they think of next? And the world of TV, which is unit four. Now, we are going to review and enrich. So we are going to review what we took and enrich our information just to revise and to recall and to make sure that all the information that we need is uh, well uh, studied and well prepared. Okay, now we're going to see what we have here. Our expansion today is going to be actually a reading uh, task, so we're going to see what we have here. Now, our objectives are going to be to apply different comprehension strategies. We are going to scan for information and words, and we are going to answer questions, inshallah. Now we have on pages 64 and 65 uh, an interesting topic here. We have the title, which is, Is Anybody Out There? Now here, what comes in mind when you read this title? Is anybody out there? Now there are different answers for it. Now basically, if this question is asked, it is something that is connected to space. Now you can just think about the different answers and about the different, um, maybe the, uh, let's just say for example, the different uh, possibilities that we have here in space. So let's see what we have. Now there's a question, do people believe that there is life on other planets? So when I just mentioned possibilities, we have here some people, they do believe, or maybe not, in the idea of life on other planets. So we're going to read, but before reading, we do have two questions in the book. We have the first question, do you think there is life on other planets? So here, you can just think about it. You can also share your thoughts uh, with a classmate or with a friend. We have the other question, number two, if there were life on other planets, how could we find this out? So also, this is an interesting question. How can we discover if there is truly life on other planets or not? So this is what we are going to read about in our reading lesson. Now we do have also uh, just a question for you to highlight and to put in mind while you are reading. We have the question, do you know what SETI stands for? Now we have here an abbreviated, here an abbreviation, S-E-T-I. This abbreviation, do you know what it stands for? So you can guess from the topic that we are going to talk about. You are going to look for the abbreviation and you are going to read and discover what it stands for. Now before we start, we are going to read, we are going to just stop a moment for the vocabulary task. Now we have here the after reading. There are words, we are going to re just read them now and then after the reading you are going to answer based on what are the meanings that we have here in the reading uh, comprehension. Now match each word with or to its synonym. We have number one, you can just read the word we have here, diameter. We have number two, detected. We have number three, limitations. We have number four, monitored. We have number five, optimistic. We have number six, unintentionally. And last word, number seven, is going to be a very simple word, vast. On the other side, uh, side, sorry, we have the meanings. We have the first one, A, accidentally. We have here B, width. We have C, restrictions. 
We have D, observed. We have E, searched. F, hopeful. And we have G, enormous. So if you do have any uh, background or if you know the meanings of the words, this is the time just to match and see what do you know. And if there are uh, any words that are unknown, you can just read and understand from the content that we have here. Moving on, we have, yes, so as we said that we have here the words, just to check them with you, and we can just read them to make sure that you have here seven words that you are going to look for. Also, we have here answer the questions. Now, I would like you just to read these questions with me, and also, while we are reading together, you are going to look for the answers for the reading or the comprehension questions. We have number one, what is the goal of the SETI program? Now, as I mentioned before, you are going to know before what does this abbreviation stand for, and then you are going to look for the answer. We have number two, why haven't any signals been picked up from other planets yet? You're going to search for a reason. We have number three, why are SETI scientists confident that they have a better chance of picking up signals in the future? Then after that, we have number four, how do we send signals into space? And we have the last question, what is SETI at home? So here we have a uh, couple of questions that you are going to look up while we are reading. We are going to start with the first part here. Now, as usual, we have the uh, comprehension, we have a complete, uh, we have uh, uh, the paragraphs. So you're going to just read the paragraphs. Of course, we have here uh, the start, or we can say that there's the introduction. We do have our content, and at the end, we have our conclusion. So we have here, first of all, I would like you to look for this question. Now, this is the first question that we have. Now, you do have the time. I'm going to give you some time. You have 10 seconds just to search for the answer. What is the goal of the SETI program? You can also search for the abbreviation. What does the abbreviation stand for? And one. So what does it stand for? First of all, we can see that Yes, now we have here in this line, some of these scientists have devoted themselves to searching for other civilizations. So this is going to be the answer for our question here. So what is the goal to look for other civilization, uh, civilizations as they mentioned? And if you can see here, yes, you can discover from the paragraph what is the meaning of SETI or what does this abbreviation stand for? Now, STETI refers to any scientific experiments or activities that people do to find life outside of Earth. So, as we mentioned at the very beginning, do you believe that there is life on other planets or in outer space? So, we now know that there is something formal, there is a kind of organization, and there are groups of scientists who search to discover if it is true or not. Okay, so we have here, we're going to start with the second part here, as you can see. Now, we have the question. Now, you are going to search for the answer here. So, read the question with me. We have, how have scientists been looking for... Now, there is a rather long word here, so you can just read it with me slowly. We have here the word. You can see at the beginning, extraterrestrial, extraterrestrial life. And also, there is another question, which is, also followed. We have here, why is the Arecibo telescope important? Now, you are going to search for the answers, and you are going to search for vocabulary as well, from the seven words that we read. You have your time. Okay, we have here three, two, one, and let's start. 
So you can see from the beginning that there is actually a date. When did this organization start? Now, answering our question, we can see that we have here the question, how have scientists been looking for extraterrestrial life using the world's largest radio telescope? So there is a large radio telescope. And we do have a word, which is the word diameter. Now, just to look at the exercise that we have here, you have the word diameter, and we can see that there are some kind of measurements that are concerning the Arecibo telescope. Now, we do know that the, the telescope is round. So, diameter here, and I'm going to give you just a hint here by showing you this picture. So, this is the meaning of the diameter. If you have a circle and you are going to measure in the middle. Now, the, sec thing, the next thing that we have here, why is the Arecibo telescope important? We can say that this telescope is so large. So here, we know that it is important because it is uh, large and it covers a wide range. Now we have here, it is the largest radio telescope in the world. This is why it is important. Moving on, we have the third paragraph here. Now what do we have? We are going to search for, yes, we have here the word intentionally, just to give you a hint. Now I want you just to read here and try to guess what is the meaning of intentionally. You can see that from the very beginning we have here, we have been constantly and intentionally leaking radio waves into space. So what do you understand? You can just read here, check from the content. And I'm going to give you my hint here. Now, when I say that I do something intentionally, or sorry, unintentionally here, intentionally means that I'm doing it on purpose. But if I say unintentionally, it is going to be the opposite. Another word that we have, detected. So let's read also the content. One day, these signals may be detected by an alien civilization. Now, aliens here, they are the creatures, and this is something that only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows about, that if they exist or not. But here, there are signals that may be detected by them. So if this is true, we have here the word detect here. Now, detect means that you are going to find something or some kind of signal that is heard or found by someone else. Moving on. We have the fourth part. Now, this is a rather short part here. And let's see what we have here. We are going to also look for vocabulary. So just look for vocabulary here. This one is short, so you are going to just look for it. OK, so we have here. Let's just see. There is a very short word here. You can find the word, yes, we have here the word, word vast. So let's just read together. Now we have here, from the very beginning, they know that the universe is vast, and searching the entire sky for a distant signal is like searching for a needle in a haystack. So here, the word vast, when we say that the world, or actually the universe, is vast, you can see from the picture how the man here in the picture is spreading his arms here because there is a wide area in front of him. Actually, it's not just even wide. We can say that it's something enormous or maybe even endless. If you notice that at the very end, we have here a kind of idiom here or a saying or a phrase. Now, what is it? We have here a needle in a haystack. Because the universe is vast, when you look for something, it is like looking for a needle in the haystack or in a haystack. So you can see that we have here a haystack and we have here a needle. Do you think it's easy to find something here? Now, searching for a needle in a haystack is an idiom used to describe looking for something that is very difficult to find, especially in a large space or among other things. Moving on to a rather longer paragraph here, we do have uh, a question here. Now, why haven't any signals been picked up from other planets? And also, you are going to look for vocabulary. 
So search for the answer here for the question and also for vocabulary. Okay, we are about to answer. We are going to see what we have here. Now, yes, now we're going to start. So why haven't any signals been picked up from other planets? You can see the answer. While there are hundreds of billions of stars in our galaxy, fewer than a thousand have been monitored for alien signa signals. So we'll just go back to the idea of the vast universe here. And it is quite hard to search within the universe and uh, within the stars. So this is going to be the first part we have here. Only a small number of stars in the universe have been monitored for signals. Now we do have the word monitored. If you recall that monitored and also the word optimistic are mentioned in the vocabulary. Now here we can say that scientists, they are not frustrated or sad. They are actually optimistic about it. So when we say that we have a person who is optimistic, you can see that this man, for example, he's smiling. Okay, so we have here, he looks happy here, and he is optimistic about the future. So we have here the word optimistic, and as I mentioned before, we have here the word monitored. Now monitored, when we say that there are different devices that monitor for signals and they just send and they look for and they follow uh, up for any kind of response. Now we're going to move to the next paragraph here. Now we have a shorter paragraph. We do have a question. Now why are SETI, now we know what is the abbreviation standing for. Why are the SETI scientists confident that they have a better chance of picking up signals in the future? So as we mentioned that they are optimistic, they are confident. Why? What is the reason? You can look for it. And also we have here, yes. Okay, you have your time. Okay, we have here three, two, one, and time's up. So our answer is going to be, just check with me your answer. We have here, yes, we have here the STEI's computing power has been increasing. Is a volunteer program started in 1999 called the SETI Home, in which the computers of ordinary people around the world are used to analyze SETI data. So we have here, we're going to answer in a very short answer, shorter than this. Technology is improving and volunteers add more computing. So they are optimistic and they are also confident because they are um, all, uh, inventing all these kinds of machines and we have your technology is improving for them. And also we have your volunteers who are helping them. So this is a main answer and we're going to read more about the volunteers here. So in the next paragraph we have, now we have two questions. We have number four, which is how do we send signals into space and what is SETI at home? Now we just had um, an idea or a glimpse in the first paragraph. You're going to complete reading here and know more about it. So search for the answers. Okay, so we are going to answer now. We have here two, one, and time's up. So what did you find in this paragraph? Now we can find an answer here by saying that when the computers are not in use and go into screensaver mode, the computers begin to analyze data gathered by the Arecibo radio telescope. The home computers search through the data for any signals that may have been created by an alien civilization.
Now, if you have read from the very start, there is a kind of uh, screensaver that uh, volunteers at home, they can download. And here, this screensaver, even if the computer is not in use, it can just monitor and just look for single, uh, signals that can come from uh, outer space. So we have here, this is going to be a basic answer here. Now we have here, SETI Home is a volunteer program in which people allow their computers to analyze data gathered from the Arecibo radio telescope. Also, we can say that we send signals into space through radio and TV waves. Coming to the next paragraph we have here, we're going to just look for vocabulary this time. So you can just search here, what do we have? Look for the rest of the vocabulary. Okay, you have your time just to read. Okay, so time's up. Yes, now we have here the word limitations. So at the very end of the paragraph, we have here, I would have told you that you were crazy. Now I know better just because we're used to certain limitations. Now, as humans, we are um, used to limitations. Now, for example, we do have lots of limitations as signs that we have here in s the streets. We have here just to um, direct us and for tra traffic. Now, these signs, they are like stop signs. They are there for uh, putting some kind of limitations. Now, also, we can say that anything that uh, you can uh, just put as a limitation for your personal uh, privacy, so limitations here, we can believe that in general there are limitations even mentally and when think, uh, we think about things. Now we do have at the very end, let's just read the conclusion together. We may well learn one day that we are not alone in the universe. In the meantime, when sitting on your couch, watching your favorite TV program, consider that an alien civilization may be listening to it with you. So we have here some people, they do believe that we have here aliens. We cannot say that they do not exist. This is something, as we mentioned, that al only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows about. So we have here, it is actually a, an interesting reading topic here. Have uh, there been any confirmed extraterrestrial signals? Now here, this is a question you can just go back and read to make sure that you have the correct answer. And we have here, who uses the Arecibo telescope? Now these two questions we have here, as we mentioned before, we have here the SETI scientists and the SETI at home program volunteers. So this matches the discussion that we had. And also we have the second question, have there been any confirmed? Uh, we did not read about any confirmed signals, so not yet, no they haven't. Now going back to our words here, let's just see what we have concluded. We have the first one, diameter. Now we said that the telescope, the telescope's diameter, so which means that we have here the, yes, B, B which is width detected. Now when we say that scientists, they try to detect any kind of signal. Now from the words that we have here, yes, we have here D, we have observed. Number three, limitations. Now which one of these words means limitations? We can see that we have here C, which is restrictions. Monitored, number four. Now we can see that we have here number four is going to be E, which is searched. Now when you said that there are different devices that monitor for different signals. Now optimistic is a clear word, which we have here, F, hopeful. We have unintentionally. Now unintentionally, we said that something is accidentally. We didn't mean to do it. And we have the last one, vast, which means, as we have here, G, enormous. No, these are the words that we have in the reading. You do have the discussion that you can share together. We have the questions. Do you think that the SETI project will ever be successful? Why or why not? 
And number two, do you think it is a good idea to try to contact alien civilizations? Why or why not? So here, just remember that there is no one answer or correct answer. This is a discussion that is based on your point of view. So you can share your thoughts with your friends. At the very end, we engaged in a, a rather interesting topic here. We have the subject of outer space and if there is life. We explored the idea. We had also kind of elaboration. And at the very end, we evaluated and we answered the questions that we had. So this is going to be the second part of the expansion. We do have the third part, so be ready and be prepared.